I'm Katie with Factory Direct Crafts, and today we're going to be making a triangle garland. Um, it's got a really cool geometric look to it, um, and I think you're going to like it a lot. So here's the things that you'll need. Um, you're going to need some cardstock. Uh, I have this pack of printed paper. It's really great. It looks super cute in the triangle shapes. Uh, you're going to need some jute, so I just have a roll of that. You're going to need a hot glue gun, and you're going to need a cutting board and a long ruler and a pencil. Uh, so let's get started. So the first step is cutting your triangles. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your piece of cardstock on your cutting board and measure a two inch strip. So I'm just gonna get two inches and I'm gonna cut that. Now you can cut as many strips as triangles that you'll need for your garland. So that'll depend on the length that you wanna have. Um, once you've cut your strips, you're gonna measure um, you're going to use your excuse me. You're going to use your triangle pattern, and you're going to draw that on. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and trace it. And this triangle pattern is two inches tall by four inches wide. So you just go ahead and line those up and trace them until you've used the entire covered the entire strip. So I'm just tracing those on, perfect. Okay, and then you're gonna cut out your triangles. So go ahead and take your pair of scissors and just slice right along those lines. Um, it works out good when you trace the triangles on because you actually get double, one here, 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 and here. And that's why the strip works out so good. So I'm just gonna cut out my triangles. And then on the end of the strip, you actually get an extra mini triangle. And we're gonna save those two and we're gonna use them staggered because I think it looks cool like that. Um, so once you've cut out your triangles, the next step is gluing them onto your jute. So you're gonna go ahead and roll that out. Um, you're gonna start about, we have about two feet at the end. And we're gonna go ahead and just tie a small knot right there then we can just use this as a hanger so that works great so now we're going to start gluing on the triangles um, i have a predetermined pattern all laid out i'm kind of doing a gradual fade from my darkest shapes my middle shapes and then my lightest shapes and i'm going to go ahead and glue them on in that pattern now i'm using this big ruler to make sure they're all evenly spaced so i'm going to start about foot from, let's do nine inches from the end of the jute where I tied my knot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just apply a small drop of glue right onto the jute. And I'm using hot glue so that it stays. And after I apply that jute, that glue, I'm going to go ahead and secure my shape on there. And you want to go ahead and hold it down for a while to make sure it stays. So I would just apply glue um, the length of the shape so that the string is glued on down the whole length and that's gonna help it stay better. So you're just gonna wait for that to dry and then we're gonna attach our next shape. Now I found that it looks best if they're slightly overlapping like this instead of right next to each other. So we're just gonna keep that in mind as we're applying the glue. So you just do a line of glue on that shape and we're going to stick it on the end. And we're going to place it just behind this triangle. And there you have it. And you're just going to continue doing uh, this pattern on and off throughout down the whole line of string until you've reached your desired length. And there is how to make triangle garland. I hope you enjoy.